What if I told you that everything you see is a lie, that your brain is hiding the truth from you, not by accident, but on purpose? This is not science fiction. It is evolutionary psychology. In this conversation from The Diary of a CEO hosted by Stephen Bartlett, cognitive scientist Donald Hoffman explains why your version of reality is not just flawed, but completely made up. From why space and time are not real, to how evolution hides the truth, to why love and consciousness may be the only real things, this episode will challenge how you see the world. Here are 10 simple takeaways that explain what is really going on. Takeaway 1. This is why you never see reality. Your senses were not made to show you the truth. They were made to help you survive. According to Donald Hoffman, evolution did not build us to see the real world. It built us to see a version of the world that helps us stay alive and have children. That means the colors, sounds, and objects you experience are like a cartoon your brain creates to make life easier. Imagine the icons on a phone screen. The trash can icon is not really a can. It is just a symbol. In the same way, the things you see around you are not the full truth. Your brain creates shortcuts so you can make quick choices. It does not show you atoms, energy fields, or what space is really made of. Hoffman and his team created computer models to test this. The results showed that animals who saw the full truth lost the game of life, but animals who only saw what helped them survive did better. Even insects can be fooled. For example, male jewel beetles in Australia started to mate with beer bottles because the bottles reflected sunlight in a way that looked more attractive than real female beetles. As a result, the beetles ignored real females and focused on the bottles. This behavior became so common that it started to affect their population, and scientists had to redesign the bottles to stop the problem. The same thing happens to humans. We do not see reality. We only see what helps us move through life. Takeaway 2. Perception is a survival tool. Your brain builds a world that helps you survive, not one that shows the truth. Every animal sees the world in its own way. Bats use sound to see. Dogs smell much more than we can. Birds see colors that humans cannot. None of these animals are seeing the full truth. They are only seeing what helps them eat, move, and stay safe. Humans are the same. We do not see radio waves, atoms, or gravity, but they are all around us. Our brains skip those parts because we do not need them to stay alive. Hoffman says this is like playing a video game. You only see what your character needs. You do not get to see the code or the real world behind it. That is how life works. We live inside a useful version of reality, not the full one. Takeaway 3. Reality is not what we see. What you call reality is actually a picture your brain creates. Space and time feel real, but science shows they break down when we look closely. That means they are not the base of everything. They are more like tools or tricks that help us live. Think of a virtual reality headset. You put it on, and suddenly you are inside a different world. You look around and see a digital room. You move your hands and the objects respond. Now, imagine being born inside that headset. You would think the digital world was the real world. That is how Hoffman says we are living. Your brain shows you a model of the world. It feels real, but it is not. You never see the full truth. You only see what your brain wants you to see. It does this to help you survive, not to show you what is really out there. Takeaway 4. Consciousness comes before matter. We usually think that our brain makes our thoughts, that our body creates our feelings. But Hoffman says it is the other way around. Your awareness comes first. Your body and brain come later. Think about dreams. In your dream, there are people, places, and even a version of you. But all of it happens inside your mind. Hoffman says that real life works in a similar way. Your awareness is not sitting inside your brain. Your brain is something that appears inside your awareness. If you stop and notice your thoughts, feelings, and body, you will see that something is watching all of it. That silent part of you is who you really are. It does not come and go. It is always there, just watching. We're about to dive into the most exciting part of this video. If you're enjoying it, 
hit the thumbs up below and share this video in your WhatsApp groups. It really helps us keep making great content. Don't forget to leave a comment and hit subscribe for more. Now let's continue with the video. Takeaway 5. You are not your body. Most people think they are their body. We look in the mirror and say, that is me. But Hoffman says, your body is like a character in a video game. It is not who you really are. Your real self is the awareness behind the character. Think of a video game where you play as a racer or a wizard. The character moves, speaks, and acts. But you are not that character. You are the one holding the controller. In the same way, your real self is the one behind your thoughts and actions. When you stop believing that your body is all you are, you feel more free. You still care about your life, but you worry less. You realize that the part of you that sees, feels, and knows is more important than the part that eats, sleeps, and ages. Takeaway 6. We are all one mind. We often think we are all separate people. You are you. I am me. But Hoffman says this is just how it looks. Under the surface, we are all part of one shared mind. We are like waves in the same ocean. Each wave looks different, but the water is the same. When you understand this, you start to see others in a new way. You stop thinking only about yourself. You start to feel more connected to everyone. You care more, you judge less, and you feel less alone. Love, Hoffman says, is the feeling we get when we remember that we are all one. That is why it feels so strong. It reminds us of the truth hiding behind the illusion. Takeaway 7. There is no scientific theory of everything. Science helps us understand many things, but it does not explain everything. Every science theory starts with ideas that cannot be proved. We just accept them because they work. Science can describe how things move or change. It can tell you how fast a ball drops or how your phone works, but it cannot explain why anything exists at all. It also cannot explain what awareness is or where it comes from. Hoffman says science is still inside the headset. It is good at studying the game, but it cannot tell us what is outside the game. To go deeper, science needs to start with awareness, not matter. Takeaway 8. Love is the core experience. If most things we see are not real, what still matters? Hoffman says love is one of the most real things we can feel. It is not just an emotion. It is what happens when we stop seeing people as separate and start seeing them as part of us. When you love someone deeply, it feels like there is no wall between you. That is not just a feeling. It is a small glimpse of the truth. Behind all the characters and stories, we are the same being. That is why love feels powerful. It cuts through the illusion and shows us something real. It is not just something nice. It is something true. Takeaway 9. Suffering reveals our attachments. Pain is part of life. We lose people. We feel fear. We feel sad. Hoffman has faced death and loss, so he knows how real this is. But he also says that pain teaches us something important. It shows us where we are still attached to things that are not truly us. When we suffer, it is often because we think we lost something that was part of us. A job, a person, our health. But those things are part of the headset. Your true self is still okay, even when those things are gone. If you remember that you are not your character, the pain becomes easier to carry. You still feel it, but it does not break you. You become like someone having a dream who knows it is a dream. The fear is still there, but it does not control you. Take away. 10. Death is just taking off the headset. Many people fear death. But Hoffman says death is not the end. If life is a simulation, then death is just the moment you take off the headset. Your real self does not die. Only your character does. Hoffman faced death when he got very sick. In that moment, he realized he was still afraid. He was still holding on to his character. But then he remembered that his true self could not die. That helped him feel peace. People who nearly die often say they saw light felt love, or felt free. These may be signs that there is something beyond the game. Hoffman does not claim to know exactly what happens, but he believes there is no reason to fear it. Death is not the end. It is the return. 
You never see the real world. Your brain shows you a version that helps you survive. Space, time, objects, and even your thoughts are all part of that illusion. But something real is always there. That real thing is you. You are not your job, your story, or your fears. You are the one who is aware of all those things. And the more you remember that, the freer you become. Love, awareness, and peace are not inside the headset. They are part of what is real. And once you know that, the game of life feels very different. So now that you see the illusion, how will you play the game? Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support this channel, hit the thanks button below. It really helps us keep going. If you enjoyed this summary, please leave a like and share it in your WhatsApp groups. To join discussion about this video, drop a comment below. And for more videos like this, hit the subscribe button below.